So, we're live. <laughs> we're live once again. It's been a while since i uh done an episode. I've been kind of busy um, working on other crap and stuff. So, today's episode, we're going to be talking about um, comic book video games. Um, mainly... You know, regular shit that I find interesting, like comic book video games and stuff. And um, <laughs> I like the bio I wrote, which was trying to figure out how the hell is Riverdale still on TV. I seen that show uh, during the break from the podcast, and I will tell you one thing: it's fucking confusing. I don't understand what the hell is going on, and why isn't Jughead a stoner? I'm, I'm trying to figure that out. I mean, through the comics, like Jughead ate more burgers than anything. It's, it's like, like, how the fuck did it not take the opportunity to make this guy a stoner? Like, why is that? Like, and, and the thing is, like, when I seen the show, Luke Perry was in it. The, the late, great, you know, brilliant Luke Perry who was in um, a lot of film? Uh, one film I really enjoy, which is uh, Angel and the Bad Man, which is a John Wayne remake, a remake of a John Wayne film. And I really enjoyed, you know, that film. I, and he was in one show, uh, which only lasted, I think, like two seasons. It was on Showtime. And, oh, shit, what is, what is that called? What is that show called? Jeremiah, I think is what it's called. Thank you, love. Um, by the way, it's people in the chat. <laughs> he was in that show. I was never a big Beverly Hills 90210 fan. Like, my my sisters are, like, diehard fans of it. Especially my oldest sister. My oldest sister fucking loved that show. And I was never... I was never a big fan of it. That show and The Nanny. The Nanny I found annoying. <laughs> <laughs> like, the one shows I, I, you know, a lot of people always ask me, like, what shows did you watch growing up? And I, I watched the Batman the Animated Series. I watched uh, Batman 66, which I love. I love that show. And I love the animated series as well. But um, the Monsters, I was, a you know, the Addams Family. I was really into old TV shows. And I loved the... Um, uh, the films Mom, Pa, Kettle. Like, I watched Mom, Pa, Kettle and John Wayne films. Those were stuff I watched. I, I was never... I was never big into, like, horror movies. I love... Even though it's weird, I could write, like, a really good horror movie <laughs> script. <laughs> I was just never really big into it. I, I... Like... I think, you know, as I got older, I sort of appreciate the classic horror movies. And I, I, I appreciate more of the... Um, intelligent psychological aspect of it than just the jump scares like the like for example um, The Exorcist the reason why a lot of people are terrified of it is not able to control oneself or something taking control of you that is like the biggest fear of it you know the the biggest fear of it, and um, Stephen King's It, the childhood trauma, and as you get older, overcoming that trauma of your childhood and stuff, and that was the thing I really appreciate in the movie It. Now, I, I never gotten around, I got to see the first one, I seen bits and pieces of the second one, um, I always go back to the original, <laughs> Because Tim Curry played Pennywise, and I love Tim Curry's work. Wild Thornberry's my favorite Tim Curry performance, besides the appearance in Psych. That's the one thing I love, was his appearance in Psych, where he plays sort of like this Simon Cowell-esque type person who takes great liberty in insulting people. <laughs> <laughs> Even at the end, spoiler alert, the person who's trying to kill him is sitting right next to him, and he just insults 
that dude at the end go like I, I was sitting right here right next to you <laughs> and you couldn't do it and the guy gets you know arrested and he's just like laughing he's going like you are by far the worst serial killer I have ever met <laughs> it was just I fucking love that moment I just I, I love how he just insults the person who's trying to kill him <laughs> and um in the uh the bathroom where Sean's dad Sean is this you know psychic but he's not really a psychic he's just good at being a mentalist and good at finding um parts and you know the crime scene he's good at finding like things that stick out to him because his dad was a detective and taught him every trick in the book of how to detect um things at crime scenes and suspects and Sean takes Tim Curry to his dad's place because like no one would suspect his dad having Tim Curry in his house and Tim Curry is wearing the dad's bathrobe and he goes full commando underneath the bathrobe meaning he's naked underneath the bathrobe which is like a code where you don't go commando underneath another man's robe it was just, it was a funny episode. It's one of my favorite Psych episodes. I, I watch like every episode of Psych, like the uh, Shining parody episode, um, the Clue episode. But the Tim Curry one's like my favorite of all, like my favorite episode of Psych. So, yeah, it's kind of that. So today we're gonna, of course, talk about uh, video games. Batman video games, DC Comics video games and stuff, and I, during the break, like, of the show, like, everybody was talking about, will WB Montreal talk about Batman, will we see a Batman video game and stuff, and I kind of want to say, like, one thing, um, we might see something in 2020 like 2020 is kind of a crazy year like everything's crazy um especially over here i got a drink of water <laughs> so like hold on i got another question on twitter in the dms so people could like shoot me a message of like questions and stuff i can answer on the show um before you get into the episode, can you give us your thoughts on the Prince Harry and Meghan, Meghan Markle situation? I don't know what the hell happened, but I, I think I think what happened was I think did they quit like the royal family? Did they like quit their jobs or whatever and stuff? Like I didn't even know they had a job. <laughs> Just that's how that's how little out of touch I am with the British monarchy. Bloody hell. Um, <laughs> um, I don't really give a shit about the royal family. I really I really don't give a shit. If you hear something in the background, it's... Uh, I have my water running in my bathroom because I don't want my pipes freezing. So if you hear something in the background, it's that. So... I don't know if... I don't think you can. So... I, I don't give a shit what happens to the royal family. I mean, really, who who gives a shit about them? Like, it, it's funny though, because like they, I remember they, I think they played the speech and stuff. Like, people were like playing the speech of um, Harry stepping down or something. I I don't know. Like, I found out like weird, fucked up stuff about the royal family. Like, uh, for example, like the queen does not like garlic. And she does not eat garlic because she does not like garlic. If I had a dinner with this woman, I'd be like, get the fuck out. I love garlic. Of course, they're vampires. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. So, anyway. Um, so, I, I've heard about 
I heard about it, and I seen the speech, and he had this speech of like this, like a lot of people say, like he seemed he was pretending to be sad. No, he 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 has that look of like, what the fuck did this chick just do? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> and stuff and that's the thing like I, I, th that was like the expression he had was like what the fuck did this crazy chick just do to my life <laughs> I gave up a good job <laughs> now we're going to Canada I think they're going to Canada I mean it, it's kind of like this it's like an ultimate step down like you know that your life is fucked once it's revealed like you're going to Canada <laughs> And I, I have nothing against the nor northern neighbors. It's just... <laughs> I would not want to go to Canada. I, I just... I couldn't go. Like, I, I'd be like, I'm happy here. <laughs> I'm happy where I'm at. I would not want to go to Canada. That, that would be like the ultimate defeat. <laughs> it's just... It's funny, though, because it's just like... When you hear that, you're like... The, going to Canada? You, I mean, you can go anywhere you want to go, but why Canada? It's kind of like, like, I know a lot of people assume, like, he must be, he doesn't like, he must be Canadian phobic. <laughs> That's a new term they're probably going to come up with. And I already created it. Um, for me, I, it's just like, it's, it's like Alaska. I seen this weird, by the way, I seen this weird, um, top 10 video like smallest towns like creepiest town no wait, it's the creepiest towns you don't want to go to and there's this town in alaska i forget what it's called so bear with me this town and it, it inspired me to like write a horror novel because this town is scary this town is in a tower a, like a hotel tower all the people who live in the town live in one giant building. And there's one road. And it's usually cl uh, closed during a season. And I saw that. I was just like, I would not want to live there. And it was just, it was creepy looking. Because it, it, it was like this giant building. And it has like a post office, a small convenience store. And like, and that's, that's it. That's, uh, that's the two things. And... People stay there for, like, almost a year, I think, because, like, seasons, like, really bad winters, they just stay in that building. And I was just like, shit, that would be so fucking cool to, like, write a novel or see a, uh, something like a TV mystery series. Like, like, would you imagine, like, if someone gets killed in that, in that town, in that building, and it's just, like, you don't know who the killer is? Like, that'd be creepy, like... And they showed, like, insides of it, like, and it was just, like, so unsettling to look at. It's like, how do people even stay in this building for, like, a really bad winter and stuff? Like, I, I, I don't understand, like, and just watching it, it was just, like, it'd be really cool. I don't even know, what the fuck was that? Oh boy. The two cats outside are having a disagreement. Um, let's see. Oh boy, it's Bruce and Selena again. Those two cats, like I tell you, like, I have, uh, for those who don't know, I have a cat farm, and those two always get into, like, disagreements. And the bad thing about it is, like, after they get into disagreements, they start mating and I'm thinking like oh fuck I'm not making this up these cats are like they turn my shed <laughs> these cats turn my shed into like a hotel for them to stay in and I seen weird stuff in that shed <laughs> so anyway I'm gonna read this opinion article and this article was uploaded uh, 37 minutes ago it's by Nate Holland, 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 I don't know. Um, let's 
So anyway, opinion. WB Montreal's new Arkham game shouldn't include Batman. You really don't want this video game to sell, do you? <laughs> Imagine many fans of Rock uh Batman starring Arkham franchise. Read it above the headline. Are you now ready to give me a piece of their mind? Then some. After all, what's the point of an Arkham video game that doesn't include the iconic Dark Knight? who starred in every single previous game in the series. It's almost like making a Duke Nukem game without Duke Nukem in it. Pretty much this guy is basically saying, like, I want a Batman video game without Batman. That's pretty much like saying, I want a Grand Theft Auto video game without the great stuff that makes Grand Theft Auto what it is. Now, this this article is kind of stupid because it reminds me of like <clears throat> it reminds me of like when people, for example, I'm going to use WWE fans for example because last episode um, Monday Night Raw this week um, sucked. <laughs> I don't even know why I watch... I don't even know why I sit through WWE that much. So... Anyway. I mean, we really didn't... I didn't... Me and my dad really didn't watch WWE. Like, he wasn't feeling great, so I put on... Yesterday I put on uh, NWA Power. Um, which I love. I love NWA Wrestling. That is... It's really great. Like, I, I know... I know a lot of people sort of have its problems with it, but I really enjoy it. Like, it's sure as hell better than Impact. So, it'd be like this. Like, if, um... I'm thinking of example. For example, the Tag Team Championships. I'm trying to remember what happened in WWE, alright? Like, they had a shitty May event. Like, I don't even know why you put on uh, Bobby Lashley and Lana against Liv Morgan and Rusev. Like, you you sort of take away uh, Liv, Morgan's pro uh, Liv Morgan's hype. Now, I, I gotta rant about this one real quick. When I watched the uh, vignettes of Liv Morgan's return hype up, it sort of took me back to Emmalina thing, which was they ruined Emma. <laughs> I was just like, one wrestler I am supporting, and you just short, you sort of shit on it, and you brought her back, you made her do the stupid thing, then you, you know. Anyway, Liv Morgan got taken out of WWE after a match with Charlotte. And I was hoping for, like, her, like, go to, like, this dark side, like, come up with, like, the, she was supposed to be, like, this Harley Quinn of uh, Riot Squad, which was supposed to be, like, a parody of Suicide Squad. And I was just thinking, like, man, they could have just, you know, sort of push the envelope, like, make her sort of, like, this crazy psychopath, like, like a Harley Quinn meets Daphne, like, she's a sadistic evil, you know, person. And you could, like, push her, like, push her to, you know, a feud with Charlotte. Like, put her in matches with, like, uh, jobbers and and just have her show, like, the sadistic, ruthless side. Like, she could do a promo where she's like, I've been suppressing my inner demon. And now Charlotte unleashed it like do that but instead they made her a lesbian <laughs> which which I'm just sort of sat there going like what the fuck is this like all these promos and vignettes that she made on her social media and the weird American psycho type promo for WWE and this is it. So, anyway, the match was shit. So, anyway, I'm going to use this one. Uh, fans wanted to see 
the Viking Raiders take, you know, the Viking Raiders lose their tag team titles after the many shitty squash matches, the same moves, same ending, over and over and over. Then, uh, this week, Rollins and uh, Buddy Murphy... They took away the Buddy Murphy Alistair Black match. I was excited for that. Like, I wanted to see them beat the shit out of each other more. They, they, they take that away. Instead, they put him with uh, Seth Rollins, who's trying to be this Messiah character, which is stupid as shit. Because it's dumb. And I guess they saw the show Messiah, which, by the way, I wasted 10 hours of my life sitting through the show, and it sucked. It started. It, it it didn't suck, but it started out really interesting. Then it just went downhill. Like the first slip going downhill, I thought, "Oh shit!" <laughs> and bam, it just it terrible. I don't want to see a second season. I don't even know why I sat through the first season. I thought, like, "Oh, this is really interesting." That this, you know, it's an interesting, interesting concept. The concept was interesting. Even though I sort of sat there going, like, this is like Mark Miller's American Jesus comic. Then more and more and more. And I thought, like, eh, it's kind of finding its own foot. Then, bam, downhill. Interesting concept. Not... They, they try to make it Homeland, which bothered me. So, anyway. Um, I'm ranting. I don't know why I'm ranting. I'm going, like, a different path, so mind you. Uh, so Rollins and Murphy won the tag team titles, and a lot of fans got mad about it. The same fans who were like, we want to see something different, we, we want to see something new, shaken up, something different, something unexpected. Then they get this. Then they go, this is bullshit. <laughs> so, D DC fans, this guy would be like, I want to see a Batman video game, but no Batman. That video game comes out, he'd be the first one to be like, this game sucked, it was shit, I didn't want, I, I, they took Batman out of the video game, which kind of ruined it, even though I said I wanted to see Batman in a video game. Batman and no video game. So it's kind of like, and here's the thing, like they, get, they go to the first thing, um, the story so far, they they want to see a Batman video game with Nightwing leading it. So basically, you want a Nightwing video game. Is basically what you're saying. And of course, you know, they want the uh, Court of Owls. Everyone really wants the Court of Owls thing. I mean, here's the thing. A video game without Batman. It, you know, a Batman video game without Batman is not going to sell. It isn't going to sell. Like, a Batman video game is not going to sell that great. So, you, you need a Batman video game. But here's the thing. I don't want to see a... Like, I don't want to be one of those people, like, who buys WWE 2K20. <laughs> like, unless you're New Legacy Inc. who will make so much fun entertainment out of it. <laughs> so many bad glitches. Eyes just, like, popping out of someone's head. You put a mask on them, you lift a mask up, all you see is teeth <laughs> and eyes and no face. You would create something so nightmarish that it is entertaining. For me, I, I I would love to see. I would love to see a Batman video game without Arkham in the title. That's the one thing I want to see. I don't want to see another Arkham video game. It's like I feel like WB Montreal should take the name Batman and just make something new out of it instead of rehashing something old. Like I don't want to see. An Arkham video game. I, I I I love the Arkham verse. I feel like they should just close the door on it after three, technically 
four, five video games. Like, they made a DS video game. Um, but, I, you know, for me, I would love to see them make, you know, a video game that's its own entity. Like, the Court of Owls, you can open the door to so many things. Like, you can make, like, amazing DLC content after the video game. Like, you do the Nightwing story arc with, um, the Court of Owls. Then you could do the Damian Wayne story arc with the Court of Owls. Then you could do the Catwoman <laughs> story. The Batgirl story. Stephanie Brown. Batgirl. I don't want to see Barbara Gordon Batgirl. It kind of be pointless. But I would love to see I know someone's going to be like, what about Jason Todd? It's like, uh, you know, fuck Jason Todd. <laughs> he ruined Arkham Knight. We don't need him. Um, <laughs> but I would love to see like um, a video game sort of being on its own foot and you know they could start fresh with the new Batman video game like something new like you know you got Court of Owls then you could do um, a Zero Year video game like I would love to see that that'd be great um, so many other things I would love to see Batman Incorporated video game like I would love to see the Batman Inc become a video game, because I love the comics, Batman Incorporated, you know, because I, I always feel like every Batman video game they do, it's like, um, Arkham City was so great, and so was Arkham Knight, Arkham Knight, it, it has its faults, but it tried to be its own entity, it tried to be its own entity in the trilogy, and it sort of failed. Like, people were so hyped and they loved the Arkham City storyline and the game itself that they were, you know, ready to see what happens next. And when something happens next, it just sort of. The Arkham Knight sort of like became more about the Batmobile <laughs> than anything else. So, I mean, for me, I would love to see, I would love to see Rocksteady, I mean, not Rocksteady, Rocksteady create something new, but WB Montreal, like, people hounded the shit out of WB Montreal, to the point where I bet they're, like, ready to be like, you know what, fuck the video game, we're not releasing it, <laughs> because, it, for me, I feel bad for WB Montreal, because you have all these people who feel like they're entitled they're entitled to a video game. It's like we've been reporting, gossiping, spreading false information for so many years that we deserve a video game. It's like, really, you don't. You really don't deserve a video game. Because a lot of these people sort of... Some YouTubers, I'm going to throw them out there. They come up with all these false information stuff, and they're, of course, you know, when they're confronted, they're like, well, you know, we, we want to hype everything up, you know, don't you want to be hyped for a video game? It's like, yeah, we, why the hype, why hype people for a video game that doesn't even have a release date, doesn't even have a, you know, concept art out there, they don't have a logo, they don't have a first trailer, first you know, photo of a video game. Nothing. And the weird thing about it is a lot of these comic book sites report it, but they don't go to WB Montreal and be like, hey, can you comment on this? Instead, they take everything they have with a giant truckload of salt <laughs> and hope that they get something out of it. Enough with the whole hype. The whole... False information of, you know, Arkham video games. Like, I want to point this out. As much, you know... As much as they put in so much work for a... The Batman video game that has not yet been named or released or anything... There's one video game that I wish that a lot of people put 
the time and effort in is this amazing looking video game called DC Unchained. This video game, DC Unchained, looks fucking awesome. It's an iOS Android game that I wish they would have here in the US. Instead, it's over in, I think, Japan. I want to see this video game. I mean, you get to have your own clan of DC characters, and they fight other characters, and this video game, the gameplay, the look of the characters, put great shame to DC's Legends. And I love DC's Legends, the DC Legends game. I, I love it. It's a fun video game, sort of takes, you know, I mean, I enjoy it. Equally amount as I enjoy uh, Bud Farm 420. That's right, I'm a pot farmer in a video game. Um, <laughs> yeah, I have my own. Bud Farm, sorry, Bud Farm. And you get to name your own farm and you know stuff. I, na- I named my farm uh, 69 Buds. Um, <laughs> and I ended up changing it to 69 Farm. Um, <laughs> So, <laughs> so I, I named my farm 69 Farm, so I, I enjoy it. It's a great name for a video game. It's nice. But, <laughs> so, for me, I would love to see this DC Unchained video game. I want to play something new, like... When I look at the whole DC Unchained, it's the artwork. Naughty. Thank you. Um, <laughs> thank you. The artwork and the character look in DC Unchained is amazing. It's like it's hard to believe that this is an iOS Android game. It's hard to believe that it is. My neighbors are loud. The thing that bothers me with with it is that it, it bothers me that it was never released in the U.S. It's like I understand like it's released in you know Asia, you know I think China, Japan, uh, South Korea. It was like man, th- I felt like I was cheated out of it because like I played DC's Legends and. I looked at this video game, I was just like, come on. So, let's see, uh, let's see other questions. Long Halloween, yeah, Long Halloween would be great. It would be a great video game. Um, yeah, Long Halloween would be great because it's like, they could do, it's, it's kind of crazy though, I want to say this out, I want to say this. With Long Halloween, like, if they made that in a video game, it'd be so awesome to see, like, um, Dark Victory as its sequel, and you could do, um, a giant, like, Catwoman DLC when in Rome. <laughs> like, that would be fucking awesome. Because I always feel like the, I felt like the DLC in Arkham was sort of, like, short-changed. Like, I felt like it was sort of... And the weird thing about it is, like, a lot of people got, I think it was, I don't I don't remember if it was Arkham City or Night, that a lot of people sort of got mad over Rock City revealing that they had, like, DLC content that they were going to, like, release and charge people. And I think a lot of people got mad about it. For me, I, I don't understand why. Like, for me, I, I'd be excited. Like, the, the, the thing about it is, like, if these people sort of saw the DLC content, then they got mad over Rock City releasing more costumes, more not costumes, but skins, more Batmobiles and um, missions for like Red Hood, Nightwing, Batgirl, Catwoman. Don't tell them about WWE. <laughs> 
they would be pissed. <laughs> because I've never... Like, WWE, like, tops it. Like, of how many crazy DLC content they have. And these fuckers release everything. Like, 2K20, they went... They were trying to make up everything... It, they, I wouldn't say they were trying to make up. They tried to make over a lot of more money off a shitty video game. <laughs> like... The video game that actually... I am not making this up. Clo- the video game that actually shut down in 2020. <laughs> 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 they shut down... That video game shut down. W- mind you, WWE 2K20 shut down in 2020. <laughs> When New Year's hit, <laughs> the video game just went, phoom, crashed. The Y2K bug came 20 years late. <laughs> and WW20. And, <laughs> and it was funny though, because it's like, then they, they then they came out and be like, uh, PlayStation, you know, they could reset the clock, back, reset the year clock back to 2020, and still play the video game. <laughs> it's easy for PlayStation people. If you're an Xbox owner, you are fucked. <laughs> I think they fixed it. I, I think they did. But, <laughs> <coughs> but that was funny though. That was like. It was funny, though, because I went into, like, I think the day after, I went into, like, GameStop. And I think I bought, I bought, like, um, what the hell did I buy? I bought, like, a Batman wallet and, um, an iTunes card. And I remember, like, looking on the shelf to see if they had WWE 2K20. And they didn't. (laughs) They didn't have it. I don't think they had it in the store. I think they were just, like... Removing it off of the day the game just like shut down and crashed, and it was it was insane though. It was insane. Uh, let's see. I got a question here. Do you think they would ever make a video game based on the Flash? Um, I'd be up for it. I'd be up for a Flash video game, like, that'd be awesome, though, uh, I think, I think it would be great to see them do, like, a Flash video game, just sort of, like, take the risk, and just be like, we're gonna make it, you know, we're gonna make a video game of it, like, they were, they were working on a video game, I think, back in the, back in the day, I think, back when, um, when PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 came out, like, they were, they were working on a Flash video game, and I think the um, the test footage for it, I think, like, the test, the video game testing of it was, like, on YouTube, and my neighbors are loud. Then they released the, um, they released, like, the test footage, like, what the menu would look like, what the gameplay footage, gameplay footage was like, and it looked really cool. It looked very... It looked very comic booky, like, like, Dark Tomorrow and Man of Steel video game, but those games sucked. Like Dark Victory, uh, uh, not Dark Victory, Dark Tomorrow. It looked amazing. Here's the thing about it: like the video game presentation of it looked amazing, very comic book, very comic book. Gameplay. And camera. Bad. Like, not not Superman 64 bad where I dropped a first F-bomb when I was a kid. But, it was not that great. <laughs> like, the idea that they had for it, like, it was going to be like the first open world Batman video game. Open world. The ambition of it was... You had to admire it. The the ambition of, like, we're going to make the first open-world Batman video game. It's going to be very comic book heavy. 
they failed to reach that ambition. And I think it, I think the video game came out in 2002 or 2003. It was when the GameCube and the first Xbox and the first place, PlayStation 2. And it was very not... It was not good. I, I had it for the X... I, not the Xbox. I had it for the GameCube. That was back when I was a Nintendo fanatic. <laughs> then I jumped the Xbox train and I was just like... Stick an Xbox. <laughs> um, and yes, I did see the Xbox Core X, I think. I ain't buying it. I mean, it looked, I mean, it's an adorable giant cube of a, you know, Xbox system, but no. <laughs> no. I like, I like my big ass VCR Xbox One. <laughs> it has, it, this one's, you know, so it, so anyway, I I played the Dark Tomorrow and I just I didn't enjoy it. Like I didn't like it. Not only that, I couldn't get past the first level where you had to like jump from rooftop to rooftop. But Batman isn't good at jumping. <laughs> the double jump is not high enough. It was really bad, and it's it's really sad though because like the look of the game and the art cover is a is phenomenal. So, I, I I didn't like the um, the Dark Tomorrow. I just wasn't a big fan of it. The Man of Steel video game, never played it. After Superman 64, I said, fuck Superman. He sucks, and I'm not playing it. <laughs> that's why, I, that's why anytime I play Injustice, I had to, like, you know, I play as Batman so I could just beat the shit out of Superman. My neighbors are complaining that it's cold. So, yeah, I, yeah, so, let's see what the other questions are. Who would you want to see in the Injustice 3 video game? <clears throat> hmm, I mean Two-Face, Two-Face would, would be cool. Plastic Man, um, Plastic Man would be cool, um, I don't remember if they had Beast... Was Beast Boy in Injustice? I, I don't remember. It's been a while since I played Injustice. Um, was Beast Boy in it? Like, can, can someone answer that for me? Because I... I don't remember if Beast Boy was in Injustice. Hmm. I'll look it up real quick. I don't remember. Was, was Beast Boy in Injustice 2... I look it up. I remember Scarecrow was in it, and Scarecrow was pretty cool. Um, no, he wasn't. Huh. Oh, did he die in Injustice? Like, if he died in Justice, then you know what? Fuck them. Um, it's like when they killed. Um, it's like when they killed Tim. I was pissed when they <laughs> when they killed Tim Drakeoff. I was I was pissed like it's like you killed my boy you know like you killed my boy that pissed me off like I I was pissed I was so fucking angry when they killed Tim off like that in the comics like they killed him off and because he was gonna help Batman defeat Superman then they they killed him off and I, I was pissed I was like you killed my boy man you yeah, fuck them. <laughs> I was like, if I, I was just like, you know what? I want super. I want Batman to fucking kill Superman. Just, you know. I was, I was pissed. Like, it's like you killed my favorite character. Like one of my favorite Robins. Now, am I for the whole Robin Barbara Gordon relationship and Arkham? No, because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm for, I'm pro Bat. Uh, I'm, for, I'm pro. Nightwing and Batgirl. Or, uh, Dick Grayson and Barbara Gordon. I'm pro that. N I was not for the Tim Drake thing. I was like, Tim was with Batgirl, just not that one. <laughs> he was with the blonde, not the redhead. Wrong relationship. <laughs> 
but that 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 bugged me like i i was aggravated with the injustice comics when they had <clears throat> tim shot like i was i was pissed <clears throat> so i i would say um i i love the insult that um the jason and damian thing and the in the fight where I, I I laughed at it, mind you. I am a Damian Wayne fan. I love Damian. He was great in uh, Super Sons. I, I felt like until he, they were great, and he was great in Super Sons until asshole decided to ruin Super Sons and completely messed that up. Um, there was the fight. I, I remember like the the conversation before the fight. It was Damian and. Jason in Injustice 2 and Damien says to Jason it was an accident and Jason goes just like you <laughs> it was just I was just like damn that that was a burn <laughs> uh, let's see who would I want to see Injustice uh, Peace Boy for one um, uh, Superboy he wasn't even. They had Supergirl in it, but they didn't have Superboy. Um, Tim, even though he's dead, uh, Stephanie Brown, Batgirl would be cool. Um, Plastic Man, you gotta have Plastic Man in it. Uh, um, <clears throat> let's see. I would love to see, like, as oddly enough, I would love to see like more. Um, like for me, I would love to see more like DLC content, like different, different looks and stuff. Like I would love to see, um, you know, like Christian Bale's Batman in it. Even though like Injustice Two, or like you could buy different skins and different parts, you know, to to um, evolve your character. That's great, but it's like the microtransaction shit. You know, sucked. <laughs> like microtransaction was not great. <laughs> you know, and that's the thing that sort of killed um, the Injustice Two video game was the entire like loot boxes and stuff, the boxes and stuff. Like that. That's what killed it for me. And um, let's see. I want to talk about this one. Uh, let's see. Other news. I'm all my news things are popping up finally. Uh, crisis ratings fall short following break. Uh, HBO Max has announced a Aquaman animated series set in the films. HBO has announced Game of Thrones prequel is coming in 2022. If you're a big Game of Thrones fan, it's happening. Joker will be in Mortal Kombat 2. Along with Catwoman. No Batman. Disappointed. Uh, Keanu Reeves' video game uh, gets delayed. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. talks Iron Man Return. Joe Rogan hates Hulk in Endgame. As Robert Downey Jr. defends... Well, I hate the Hulk too in Endgame. Watchmen is not coming back for a second season on HBO. Not surprised about that one. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Um, Thor Ragnarok director is wanted by Disney to do Star Wars. No thank you. Uh, Tyler Hoechlin's new costume for Superman leaks. Who gives a shit? <laughs> uh, let's see. George Lucas and with Baby Yoda. Yeah, I know. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. is excited for Robert Pattinson as Batman. <laughs> Neighbors allowed. Uh, National Treasure 3 is a go by Disney. 
I'm excited about that one. Um, Disney Star Wars, blah, blah, blah. Dr. Doolittle. I didn't even know they did a Dr. Doolittle. I did not know that one. Uh, Ewan McGregor leaves Kenobi series. Dead. Rumor. Oh. Oh, well. Black Widow. Colin Farrell packs pounds for Penguin. I, I hope they don't go with that one. Like, I know a lot of people... I know a lot of people got mad over <clears throat> the Joker, uh, the Penguin look in Telltale, but I really like that version of him. Like I, I like the the version that kind of puts up a fight against um, Batman. Uh, Batman script is wonderful, says Zoe Kravitz. Okay. Concept art leaks of Star Wars offering a different version along with Kylo Ren torturing Chewbacca. <laughs> Wonder Woman 84's first TV spot is here with Gal Gadot. I'll read this one. Then we'll get back to the video games and stuff. I want to talk more about those. Um, this article, Robert Pattinson still looks super skinny for Batman. Robert Pattinson still looks super skinny for his role as Batman in the new DC's, as the new DC Bruce Wayne. The 33-year-old actor has been recently spotted out, spotted in a in the wild at a hotel in Paris at the fashion Bruce Wayne looking Bruce Wayne like where he still doesn't have that much he's not that much bigger than he appeared as Vamp Rob Edward Cullen in the Twilight movies according to Google <laughs> yes listen to Google <laughs> Pattinson is listed as height 6'1 but only only at the weight of a bulky 6'5 for comparison, Christian Bale is around the same height. I didn't even know Christian Bale was the same height as Pattinson. But has added 20 to 30 pounds of muscle. Pattinson couldn't even compare to the outgoing Ben Affleck, who stands six foot four at the weight around 225 or so. Is Pattinson too skinny for Batman? Uh, let's see. Let me look at the photo. No, he doesn't look that skinny. I mean, here's the thing about it. It's a selfie. You can't really tell by a photo of a selfie. I, I, I'll i tell you this. He, he doesn't look skinny. His hair kind of needs to be trimmed short. I'm just saying. But, I mean, here's the thing. <clears throat> a lot of people said that um, Michael Keaton was too small to be Batman. But you put him in the suit. He looks different. I mean, here's the thing about it. Like, Christian Bale wasn't bulky and big. Like, um... He wasn't, you know, Christian Bale wasn't bulky and big. He was a very, uh, you know, s you know, um, sleek. He was very sleek as, you know, as Batman. So, for me, I, I don't see, I don't see the problem with it. I, and plus, it's a selfie. It's a selfie pic. Anything, you know, you can look at and be like. Is this guy, you know, bulky and big? No, I mean, 
here's the thing about it. Like, you don't want... You don't want a big Batman for Pattinson. Like, you want the Batman who, you know, can hide in the shadows, not stand out like the giant Hulk, like, figure. My neighbors are hammering something. I don't know what, but... But, here's the thing. Pattinson's version of Batman is... ...different than Ben Affleck's Batman. Like it, love it, or leave it. As simple as that. I... I fully support... ...this version of Batman. I think he's going to be... ...a phenomenal Batman. He's going to be... ...very different than what... ...we will see. So... J.J. Abrams, boy. J.J. Abrams is developing a Justice League Dark movie and TV projects. J.J. Abrams, along with his bad robot production, are developing a Justice League Dark movie projects. Sorry, Justice League Dark projects involving movies and television. Details are scarce and uh, various characters Justice League Dark will have their own projects including characters such as Constantine Madame Zandu Dead Man, Shade The Changing Man Zatanna Swamp Thing Andrew Bennett an old centuries old vampire Black Orchard a shapeshifter Dr. Mist a spy who worked for the villain Flex Foss Frankenstein, Pandora, Nurse Nightmare, Man Bat, Phantom Stranger, Doctor Fate, and more. According to details that that this is unknown if J.J. Abrams will be directing any of the projects, but already Abrams' ad robot production team is involved. Hmm. I was. Uh, if you're going to include Man Bat. I would give that character to uh, Matt Reeves. Swamp Thing. Because I don't want... I don't know what I... I want a good Swamp Thing. Uh, worth mentioning that, that that person who... The person who's writing it. Was at Comic-Con this summer explaining why the DC Universe Swamp Thing was cancelled. I was told that Swamp Thing could always come back in something like Justice League Dark. I was told that Abrams is taking both Superman and Green Lantern and that Abrams will be involved in some sort of DC EU reboot with Matt Reeves' Batman and James Gunn's The Suicide Squad. J.J. Uh, Abrams and his Bad Robot team signed a mega deal with Warner Brothers Media back in September, which we will see what Abrams and his Bad Robot team creates original projects for television, theatrical, motion pictures, video games, digital platforms. I don't know. I can't wait to see what happens. Um, I will tell you this: like, I I look forward to seeing what they do with Swamp Thing. I kind of wanted to see the people who did um, Swamp Thing take on the Jedi Arc. Like, I would love to see a you know Doctor Fate and stuff like that. But anyway, let's get into the uh, other. Let's see. One person. Guillermo del Toro. Take on Justice League Dark. The fuck? Fuck del Toro. Like, that dude... He takes forever when it comes to his shit. Like... Del Toro, you know... He's the slowest fucking filmmaker I have ever seen make things. Yeah, so... Anyway. <laughs> I want to see what this other question is. What do you think of Superman 64? <laughs> oh, shit. Video game. Talking about video games, what do you think of the Superman 64? Do you think they will make a good Superman video game? The answer to that one is no. I, I mean, here's the thing: like a lot of people always say, Superman's a very hard character to make in a video game. I will say this: 
I do not want to see a Superman video game. <laughs> I'll take it back. I, I kind of do. So, Superman fans can be like, hey, we got a video game. We got something. I don't want to... I, I, I don't like Superman 64. I hate Superman 64. I hate Superman. <laughs> that video game made me hate Superman. I do not like the character. I mean, the the video game sucked. You think that the video game, you know, people are saying that the video game is bad. They mean it's bad. That video game is bad. That video game deserved the E.T. Atari game treatment. Be buried in a field somewhere and never spoken of again. That video game ruined my weekend. I lost $20 of my allowance that day. I still want that $20 back. That twenty dollars I worked I worked my ass off for that twenty dollars. I lost that twenty dollars and let me tell you something. Andrew Jackson was probably asking me what the hell were you thinking that day? So <laughs> Because, you know, here's the thing. You look at the cover, the cover box of Superman 64. The North American cover box. I don't know what the other cover boxes, cover art looks like. You look at it, you're like, Superman the Animated Series. I love that show. I, I, I didn't. I really didn't. I thought Superman was a tool. But you look at the cover art, you're like, Bruce Tim, <clears throat> Superman sixty four. Oh, this is gonna be like the the. It's gonna be like a um, a Superman animated series video game. This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be great. It's exciting. I looked at it and I wish I could time travel and be like, don't buy it. Don't buy it. Walk away. Walk away. It's not worth it. You could go, go buy something else. Go go buy um, go buy Batman Beyond. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, go somewhere and buy something else. Go, you know. 2003 is when Dark Tomorrow came out. I I knew it was right. Go somewhere and buy comics. Because, remind you, this was Slackers, um, I don't even, I don't even know if Slackers are still around. Slackers, CD, and games. Shit, that's been a while since I've been in, the one that I, I remember I bought, you know, the Superman 64, uh, closed down because Walmart wanted to expand their store and make it a big-ass fucking store, and they took out the small stores next to it, and Slackers was one of them. Um, Slackers is a lot like V-Stock. I think V-Stock is a lot better. They got a lot of old PlayStation 1 video games. And let me tell you, every time I walk past, I'm like, I, I want to buy old PlayStation. I want to buy... <laughs> i seen Driver. And I played Driver. Driver was my shit on PlayStation. Uh, that and WCW versus The World, which was like the greatest wrestling video game. I know a lot of people say that... Uh, WCW NWO Revenge was the best. No, WCW versus the World was brilliant because they had New Japan wrestlers. They had you know a lot of cool stuff. But um, yeah, those were like I mean I I enjoy like the the thing about like comic book video games back in the day. Like when you look at Batman back in the day, like the first Batman video game. I remember they did one. Um, Batman video game. I remember seeing it on Angry Video Game Nerd. And it was really cool. Like, the 
the gameplay was not phenomenal, like today's video games, but uh, they, there was this Batman video game on an old computer where you can battle either the Penguin or Joker, and each scene that your character leaves a, a scene that opens up another one, it's like a panel, and they, like, they each have panels, and it sort of looks like an old, it looks like a comic book. So, it was really, back then it was really cool. I, I never played it, but when I saw it on an angry video game nerd, I was like, that is so cool. Uh, let's see. I want to see other questions. Um, DC Unchained. Yeah, I would still, they need to make that video game available in the US. Like, I would, if they were charging for it, I would buy it. Four ninety nine, fine. I would buy it. I, I would play it. But it, it sucks that they. If you look at the the art, the gameplay and stuff, it is far superior than DC's Legends. So, I, I you know, for me, I still kind of want to see it. Uh, let's see uh, other questions. Court of Owls are going to be in the next Batman video game. <laughs> it's obvious. They're hinting. They, it's not a hint. They're basically flat out saying, Court of Owls are going to be in the next Batman video game. It's not a hint. It's basically them saying out loud that it's going to be in the next Batman video game and stuff. Um, I Yeah. I, I still want to see them... I still want to see them do Batman Court of Owls basically be its own its own new trilogy, I guess you would say. Like I, I don't want any like I really don't want to see them sort of harp back to Arkham. Like I feel like if they go back to Arkham it's it's sort of like you know, it's sort of in a way like saying like our story is not great. <laughs> It's basically them caving in to be like, you know, remember Arkham? <laughs> and you play it and you're going to like, remember Arkham? That was like a way better video game. That's the problem I think, you know, they would have. I, I want them, I want WB Montreal to make their own trilogy. I don't want them to continue be a, like a spiritual continuation of Arkham or have any connection to Arkham. I want a whole new Batman story verse I don't want I don't want them continuing with with Arkham so uh, let's see have you played Spider-Man no <laughs> I don't have a, I don't know if, if did you not hear I don't have an X I don't have a PlayStation <laughs> I have an Xbox so no I I have not played I haven't played Spider-Man so yeah I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's... I, I've heard like a lot of people say like Spider-Man's like... The new Spider-Man video game's like... Uh, Spider-Man video game's like better than Batman. Which I think is... A crock of shit. Because... Spider-Man PlayStation 4 is available only on the PlayStation. It's not available on like... PC or Xbox or Nintendo Switch. So I don't I don't understand how people say like it's better than better than Batman. It's not available on any other system. So it, it's kind of it the reason is inaccurate to really say like Spider Man PS4 is better than Arkham. It's not. It's the first video game, so I mean if they make a sequels, I don't know if they are but you really can't make an uh, argument on which video game is better. It's like, I I kind of want to see them make a Spider-Man, Spider-Man video game on Xbox. I mean, I don't know why not. I mean, ML, MLB The Show is now going to be on Xbox, which I'm fucking excited for because RBI Baseball sucked. You can't create a player. You can't really do anything. You're just... You can't even trade players. That's the thing that kind of sucked about it. It's like you can't even trade players. Like I want to trade Matt Carpenter <laughs> to some other team because I don't want him on my team. So you, 
I mean, I can't even create myself in a baseball video game for RBI Baseball, so... And I can't wait for MLB. I mean, I haven't played MLB the show since, I think... I think since 2010. So it's been 10 years since I haven't I haven't played MLB the show, so... For me, I am excited to see what happens, and... I tell you, I can't wait for... MLB The Show 20, I guess, to be on... Or MLB The Show 20 or 21 to be available on Xbox. So, I can't wait. I love baseball, so... You know, so for me, I can't wait. I, I That would be such an awesome thing. Like, if they released, like, MLB The Show on Xbox and Arkham... Or Batman video game in 2020. I cannot wait. Do you think there will be a Telltale, Batman Telltale Season 3? I think there's going to be. I mean, when they announced that uh, they were coming back, Telltale, they immediately said Wolf Among Us and Batman. They have the rights to those two. You know they're going to they're gonna do Batman after Wolf Among Us. Wolf Among Us was fucking brilliant. And I don't mind waiting for Batman. Wolf Among Us is going to be amazing. The sequel, Wolf Among Us 2. Um, I, I I think they're, they're definitely going to make it. They're going to make it. I mean, you have to write to Batman. Why not? Why not make it? They're going to make it. So, And and I love that they're re-releasing the, um, the Telltale games like in a noir style. Black and white. They're going to do a great job with it. So I, I think they're going to. Um... I don't know who's going to be the villains in it. I I don't want to see the Court of Owls. <laughs> I don't want to see the Court of Owls. I would love to see them have Scarecrow um, bring back Harvey Dent Two-Face, bring back John Doe, Joker, Harley Quinn, and stuff. I, I would love to see them even bring a Robin into the mix, like bring Robin. I, you know, I'd love to see them do a um, Dick Grayson origin story involving, you know, involving Dick Grayson in the season three. I would love to see that. I think they could do a really great job with it. Sort of have, you know, have the characters. This, you know, like he could play as Batman, but you could bounce back to like different characters and stuff. I think that'd be really cool. I mean, a new concept to it, like, you know, and this time, or, you know, play as Bruce Wayne, and you have to, like, make sure, sort of guide Dick Grayson and not going over the line, not trying to kill. You know, like, inspire him to become Robin, you know. Like, I would love to see that. I think it'd be really, really cool, so... It'd be a great concept to see, like, what they do with Batman. Um, am I disappointed they're not going to do Walking Dead anymore? I am. I thought Telltale really did a far better job than the TV series of Walking Dead, in my opinion. I Even though I love Season 1 and 2 of Walking Dead, I haven't seen any new episodes recently. So I'm going to take a quick break, and I'll be right back. We'll finish this episode up and wrap it up.
So anyway, I'm back. I feel great. So, <laughs> yep. So, anyway, yeah, I mean, I'm disappointed that they, you know, they don't have the Walking Dead license to make, you know, more video games, but anyway, I mean, I would love to see them, like, continue to, to do, uh, sorry, continue to use the DC license. I would love to see Telltale sort of, like, uh, form a partnership with, um, you know, DC and Warner Brothers, like, try to, like, make, you know, alternative comic book video games for DC. Like, I would love to see Telltale do Doom Patrol or Titans or, you know, Swamp Thing or, you know, Dr. Fate and stuff. Like, I would love to see, like, even Young Justice. Like, I want to rant about this one. (laughs) That almost slipped my mind when I just said Young Justice. I remember... I remember when they made Young Justice a video game for, I think, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, if I remember correctly. Or was it PlayStation 4? Let me look it up. Young Justice video game. PlayStation 3 Young Justice Legacy. Oh, it left a legacy, alright. Young Justice Legacy is by far the worst video game I've ever played. No, wait. Let me take that back. It was one of the bad video games I have ever played. The worst video game is Superman. Fox Superman. Superman 64 is the worst. Young Justice Legacy is the one of the bad video games I've ever played. I mean, not State of Decay too bad because I hate the people I had to work with in State, De- you know, State of Decay. Lazy people. <laughs> get the food, get the guns, get medicine. It's like I'm getting all that shit. You fuckers are staying in the hideout. <laughs> so Young Justice 2. The bad thing about it is Greg Wiseman and uh, Brandon Venetti collabed and wrote the Young Justice video game. Which took, you know, five year gap between season one and season two. If you're ever... Have you ever watched Young Justice? Like, if you watch the first season, then you get to the second season, you're like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> How is how is Robin now Nightwing? <laughs> what what world is this? What's happening? <clears throat> and that's the thing that bothered me with season three. It's like they jump forward. It's like what the fuck just happened? Like I know you know Kid Flash died and everybody's already moving on. Like not giving a shit. I would love to see Kid Flash come back in Young Justice and just like unleash on everybody. It's like you know. Artemis, you know, you you fell in love with a clone <laughs> of Red Arrow, and you're supposed to fucking hate Red Arrow. Now you're in love with his clone. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Who happens to be the guy who fathered a child with your sister, and you're falling in love with this dude? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> so, the bad thing about Young Justice 2 is it was made for uh, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Nintendo DS, which I never bought. I played the PlayStation 3 version. And let me tell you, this video game is more like a PlayStation 2. (laughs) The graphics are bad. The fighting mechanics are horrible. The level design just looks cheap. Like, they bum-rushed this video game out the door. Like, the video game was made, like, I think after... The game was made in, like, 2011 to late to... Like, pre-production and from 2011 to 2012. Uh, 2013, the game was officially announced on its Facebook page that the game was delayed until... 
It was delayed for the Windows and Nintendo platforms to 2013, but they decided to release it on Nintendo 3DS. They canceled uh, the Wii and the Wii U version. And I'm pretty sure if Wii U people played it, they'd be like, fuck you. <laughs> We're not playing it. Um, it was really like... It was really... The video game is horrible. Like, they took the mechanics of Justice League Heroes. I don't know if anybody's ever played Justice League Heroes. Like, I remember I got that video game for, like, my birthday. And I, I wanted to play it because, like, Batman... It had, like, three different... like They had different versions of Batmans. Uh, they have the original... Uh, the video game. The gray and black. Uh, the 70s version, and they had Batman Beyond, and that version of Batman Beyond was, like, different, because he has a cape, instead of, like, <clears throat> and I have the video game, the PlayStation version, and I have the Flash video game <laughs> of it, and it was, it was okay, like, I mean, I still have great memories of it when I when I look at it. I don't have a PlayStation 2, so maybe one day I'll do a Twitch... Find a way to do a Twitch stream where I'm playing it. One day. Um, I'd love to do that. Like, play, do it like a Twitch stream where I'm playing it. Like... Not Twitch stream. I think YouTube games. I think they have like a, sh- a streaming service now. YouTube, I think. I don't know. But I would love to like play it and like, you know, it was really fun. Like the voice acting was really cool because they had um, they had Ron Perlman doing the voice of Batman. And if you watch Teen Titans, like you know, Ron Perlman's the voice of Slade, Deathstroke. And he does the voice of Batman, and he really does a really cool job as Batman, which that completely amazed me. Wait, he I think he did Clayface. He did Clayface, I think, as well. So it was really cool, and he had uh, Crispin Freeman do the voice of Superman. Um, Michael J. White did the voice of Green Lantern John Stewart, which I was like, take my money. <laughs> <laughs> Michael J. White would be fucking awesome as John Stewart Green Lantern. That's the guy they should get to play John Stewart Green Lantern, in my opinion. Um, Daniel uh, Redoran, I think, did the voice of Martian Manhunter, which that to me is like the definitive voice of Martian Manhunter. He has like this really cool voice to it. Uh, Tara Strong, who did the voice of Harley, did the voice of Supergirl. Ralph Garman did the voice of Green Arrow, <laughs> which I recognize Ralph Garman. I was just like, that's Ralph Garman. So, I mean, that that to me was like really cool. And I, I really enjoy the video game. They tried to like do, they tried to capitalize off of Justice League Unlimited and Justice League, but they made it their own. It was a really good video game. And, I, you know, for me, I, I wish they would do, I wish, I, I wanted them to do a sequel, but they never did, which disappointed me, but looking back on it, I'm just like, I'm glad they never did a sequel. <laughs> but, damn, like, they had a good voice cast in it, so, that to me is like what, that to me is like why it's my, one of my favorite PlayStation 2 video games of all time. Like, I, and, I mean, I enjoyed, like, I had that one. I think, I, still to this day, I have Justice League Heroes. Um, Batman Begins video game, which I remember buying. Because <laughs> I fucking love that movie. I still to this day love Batman Begins. It is by far one of the best. I, I One video game I wish I could find, maybe somebody can send me... You know, a link or something. I don't know. I wish they could like re-release the Dark Knight Rises video game on iOS and Android because that was really fun. That was a fun video game, and it always disappoints me to this day that they never made you know a Dark Knight video game and they never went out of their way to make like movie tie-in games. I I miss 
I wish they would do them again. <laughs> like, it's it's fascinating though because like a lot of people who talk about the Dark Knight video game, like they, I think someone made like a YouTube video where they showed like all the concept art, all the test footage. Bono was involved somehow in making the Dark Knight video game, and they, I guess they, I guess they shut down. And it just never made it. And they, I think they ended up making like a Dark Knight Rises iOS Android game, which I remember buying <laughs> on my iPad, and I was like playing it and doing like the impersonating the voice of Batman. <clears throat> you know, like because I thought like I could do a better Batman. <laughs> you know, Bane. And the guy who did the voice of Bane, I think, I think he did the, I, I think the guy who voiced Bane in the, in the video game, I think is now doing the voice of uh, Bane in the, um, the Harley Quinn show. That'd be a great video game. <laughs> a Harley Quinn Telltale game based on the Harley Quinn animated series. That would be brilliant. <laughs> Just get Kaylee Cuoco to do the voice. Get everybody who does the voice in in the video game, you know, get them to do it, and yeah, you know, and the show to do the you know voice of the characters in the video game. Um, yeah, I just I kind of like to see that one. That would be really fun, <laughs> very crazy. So, anyway, I guess it's the wrap up the show. So, um. Yeah. <laughs> driver. Oh, wait. This one's a comment about what I said about Driver. Yeah, Driver. Yeah, I never played Driver 2 or 3. Um, I think they did, like. It's kind of a shame, though, what happened to Driver. Like, those were fun. Like, I. <clears throat> the reason I loved. I think the reason I sort of have a fondness for Driver was I remember playing it and how fun it was to drive a muscle car and how the chase is sort of like years later, like I seen the movie bullet, Steve McQueen's bullet. And it's sort of like, wow, they really, <laughs> they really use that privilege of using. I mean, it was really cool because the driving mechanics and stuff was like, so realistic as weird as that sounds, even though it was a video game at PlayStation. Um, and stuff like I remember yeah the dark the Batman Begins driving scene where you drive the tumbler was definitely out of need for speed <laughs> and I love how you play the Batman you you play as Batman you drive the tumbler and every car you hit it shows like no casualties <laughs> there's no casualties like you hit a taxi and there's no casualties like that was fun it was exciting and crazy and I remember after you like um, you beat the game. There's like this old the, your own Arkham board, and you can like walk down there and scare the shit out of the people that you caught. You scare like Ra's al Ghul and stuff, and it was really cool. Like it was oddly enough, like Batman Begins had Christian Bale, Michael Caine, Killian Murphy, Katie Holmes, and I th I think Liam Neeson was in it. Um, but I remember Christian Bale... There's like behind the scenes where you see Christian Bale do the voice and stuff, and all of a sudden you have like this voice director in a video game like telling him how to do the voice. And he sort of has this has that expression of like, bitch, what did you say? <laughs> sort of look. And it was so weird to see like a voice, act a voice director sort of like tell Christian Bale how to do the Batman voice. Which was so weird, like, it was so weird to see that, and, and you see Katie Holmes, who's sort of like, it, there's like still, I think like, behind the scene video of it, like, it's really funny and interesting, um, I mean, you see Katie Holmes, like, trying to explain what her character is, and you don't see her do any lines, all you see her do is like, screams and stuff, <laughs> like, you don't see her do any act, you know, voice acting. And you have Michael Caine, who sort of looks annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> he 
<laughs> you see him like you see Michael Caine annoyed like he's like why am I doing this voice acting for a video game <laughs> so anyway um yeah that's this is the show um I I guess uh we will do tomorrow's show I think it'll be a morning show I think I don't know um yeah so anyway uh thank you for listening this was a really fun episode we talked about video games and you gotta hear me rant a bit about um superman 64 and if you want to play that video game god be with you and have patience because basically you'll be flying as superman through rings on a timer and when you lose or you miss a couple rings, all you hear is Lex wins and hear this. Ha 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 ha. So, yeah. Superman 64 sucks. So, if you want to play a good video game, um, play Arkham or find. Uh, I, I remember somebody made. A mod of Arkham City, I remember back then. Like, they made a mod of it, like they did, uh, based on, I think, Batman Long Halloween, and just didn't. I think they never gotten around to releasing it. So, anyway, um, yeah, so I will see you all tomorrow. I think the morning show we will do, and we will talk about comic books, I guess. I don't know. So, anyway. Yeah.